Children and adults walked into the Viefort Square in droves over the weekend, drawn by the loud music, colorful booths, and bouncing castles. The Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, in observance of Caribbean Wellness Day, combined its resources with various sister healthcare agencies to promote better healthcare among families residing in the south of the island. Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Ms. Jenny Daniel, says healthcare begins from the womb, and as we grow, we need to grow a culture of practicing healthy lifestyles in order to improve one's quality of life. Of course, we know there are very many components of wellness, and these include not just clinical or medical um, health or good health. We're also speaking about mental wellness, um, care for our teeth, care for the eyesight, care for our bodies in terms of um, infectious diseases and how our bodies respond to infectious diseases. So our activity today really culminates Caribbean Wellness Day, the spirit of Caribbean Wellness Day. We have, of course, with us our sister agencies in, in terms of the St. Lucia Cancer Society, the St. Lucia Diabetic and Hypertensive Society as well. According to Daniel, all major units within the Ministry of Health were also present and ready to provide health services and knowledge and the various booths, including dental, eye and foot care, COVID-19 and influenza tests and vaccinations, as well as health screenings for high blood pressure and diabetes. Health educator at the ministry, Nadez Smith, says it was all about getting the family involved, hence the reason for making the event a family fun day. We actually found it was necessary to come into the communities and show some love, especially what we're seeing happening with the families. We wanted to bring families together, offer services that families can get. If you look at our wellness centers, we usually start with a pregnant woman and then we go to the infant and the toddler and then an adolescent and then we go up to the adult and the older person. So we wanted to bring persons out in extended families. We wanted that family togetherness and that love out here. We are targeting the children, you know, we have a wonderful wheel at the back where we engage the children. We have various questions that we ask them to get an opportunity to answer questions that are health related and age appropriate. And then we have some wonderful prizes. We have some coloring books. We have drawing books and so on. And the children seem to be very excited and they have been coming through and we are very happy to see the turnout here today. Everybody one resident commended the initiative for its convenience as it brought the healthcare services to the people as opposed to the people taking time off from work to do it. Well, it's, it's great. The, training, the kids are enjoying themselves and the different activities, the adults are getting opportunity to go take different check, check on their bodies and the blood. I think it's a good, good activity and I wish next year will be bigger and better and more people next year. According to ministry officials, the second leg of the Caribbean Wellness Day Family Fund Day will be taking place in the north of the island on Saturday, the 23rd of September at the Leclerc playing field from 10 a.m.